Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to recreate Deadpool and Wolverine intro where bones are flying in with texts. I've watched that movie and loved the intro part, and today I'm going to show you how to make similar edit using Element 3D in After Effects. First what we are going to do is, let's go to this website where you can download free and paid 3D models for your edits. I found this cool Grenade 3D model and I will download this one for this tutorial. Click on download and download GLB format with 2K size. Once it's downloaded, we will need to convert GLB format to OBJ, cause you won't be able to open GLB in 3D element. Jump to this website now, it's online 3D format converter. Upload your downloaded 3D model here. Now click on download as and select OBJ. Once it's done converting, click on save. Now you can close your browser and let's go to your downloads folder. Extract this RAR file. Now you can delete GLB and RAR files we don't need them anymore. Open extracted folder now and here we have everything we need to create our effect. In AE create new solid layer now. Name it to element and hit OK. Add element 3D on that solid. Click on scene setup now. Click on import and select 3D model we have downloaded. Make sure to click on normalize size, now let's check if everything is cool and then hit OK. Let's toggle off our clip for a while so we can see everything clearly. Grab a text tool now and type anything you want. Make sure to toggle off this text as well. Select element layer, then expand custom layer, custom text and masks and change path layer 1 to our text we have created. Now click on scene setup and then click on extrude button to bring our text. Let's quickly correct the text. Click on transform and I will change my text rotation to minus 90. In your case it can be different, it depends on a 3D model you will use. Also I will make my text smaller a bit. Make sure your text is right on the model. Once you are satisfied with it, click on presets and under physical, select any preset you will enjoy. You can also adjust your text from here, I will leave everything as default. Now hit OK and let's continue editing in AE. Under element, expand group 1, particle replicator and rotation. I will change Z rotation to minus 90. Now scroll to very beginning of element layer and click on position X and Y stopwatch icon. Now move your 3D model all the way right. Scroll to the end now and change position of it all the way left. Scroll to the moment where your model is right in the center of your screen and then press U on your keyboard to open created keyframes and create a new keyframe for position there. Now select all keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make sure to move your curves up like this. This will create a smooth stop of your 3D model in the middle of the screen and then it will smoothly go out. Now make a smooth curve like mine. That looks perfect to me. Let's add some rotations now. Scroll somewhere near to the end and click on X rotation stopwatch icon. Add X rotation something like this. Press U to see created keyframe and then move this keyframe to the end of your layer. Scroll near to the beginning of your layer now and change rotation like this. Move that keyframe to very beginning of your layer. Select both keyframes now and hit F9 to ease ease them. Let's quickly check the animation. Everything looks cool. Now let's create a camera zoom in animation really quick. Scroll forward a bit like this and click on position Z stopwatch icon. Now scroll forward near to the end and position it near to the camera. Let's check it again. That looks cool to me. Scroll to the end now and then press U to open created keyframes and then copy first position Z keyframe and paste in the end of element layer. Select all position Z keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard. I think it's enough of animation in my case, if you want to add more. Feel free to play around with rotations, position, and scale on your wish. Now I will add a raise effect on the 3D model and we are almost done. God Raise is a free plugin, I will leave a download link in description. Play around with raise settings until it will look cool to you. Nice, that looks really cool. Now enable motion blur on element layer to add blurriness. Toggle on your clip now. For a better results, I will blur my clip once 3D model pops into video to grab the whole attention only on a text. Scroll to the moment where 3D model comes in, now select your clip and add Gaussian blur effect on it. Click on blurriness stopwatch icon, then scroll forward a bit and add blurriness to around 10. 
scroll forward where it starts going out and change blurriness back to zero. Press U to open keyframes and move the last keyframe near to the end. Then copy second keyframe and paste it something like here near to the end. Select all keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy for you as a beginner. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like this video.